Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. The heck is that? What? Why? Is that your phone ring? No, that's the gizmo ring. <laughs> hey there. Hello. That, remember, he's going to have to listen in on the stream, so there may be some kind of delay because oh, I don't have lag. a microphone set up. Hey. You're not going to hear me say anything through gizmo. You have to hear us through the feed. Hello? Who is it? I don't know. It doesn't say. Can you eye in with the person you're supposedly talking to at the same time? Yep. You can chat. Okay. You can even map them. But they're not saying oh, anything. Chris, Chris. Hey. What? Who is it? The audio quality isn't that great. It's not near as well as Skype. Who are we talking with? Yeah, I can hear your mic through uh through the uh, gizmo thing. This is Tech Handyman. Tech Handyman. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> 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 All right. So the question came in from the chat room last night, what is a VoIP phone? So we just demonstrated, I guess, an example of a software VoIP phone. VoIP stands for Voice Over IP, and essentially it's a way to have voice communications using the Internet. The Internet, the way it works, everything connects using uh, the, uh, well, Internet protocol, <laughs> Voice Over IP. Um, there's uh, IP addresses, and instead of, you know, each machine that, or each thing that's connected to the network has an IP address, and so using voice communications, voice over IP essentially is saying using the internet to communicate uh, in talking. So what we just did there was demonstrate the uh, Gizmo project, which is available at software that's available on for Windows, Linux, Mac, and you can with it you can talk to people using your computer. And it also has the ability of dialing out to regular phone lines. Of course, there are charges associated with that. Skype is another example of a uh, piece of software, and in some cases, devices, actual physical devices that you can use to communicate over the internet. Vonage uses voice over IP. So, when, but the nice thing about Vonage is that it's very user friendly. You don't need to know internet anything, usually. That's not always the case. But Vonage just makes it so brain dead simple so you don't have to worry about a lot of the details. You don't think about using software when you pick up the phone. Except for when you set it all up. When you set it all up, you do have to think about it because you have to transfer 911 calls and things like that that you do take, you know, for granted that automatically comes with the phone line. You do have to change the way you do things. But so Vonage, talk about that. well, yeah, I mean, there's, there's issues because it's not a traditional landline, if you will. And that's the reason why, I can tell you, the only reason why the we got Vonage. Goes out, that's the other thing that people don't want to get. Um, if your internet connection goes out, then your phone goes out. You know, if the electricity goes out, you don't have a phone line. So in case of emergency, there is that, there's like, you know, two instances in why you would really want to still keep your old phone line. So that's one but reason. But see, we don't even we have, don't have a We don't have a, a regular phone line, though. I would like to get one. Cost-wise, it may not be that's worth in, it. And see, Chris that's the is thing. totally against it. Chris is like, no, we don't need another phone number. I don't, well, I don't want to. No, I just but don't want to pay the, the phone company But if the cell phone anymore. dies and <clears throat> the electricity goes out, then we're kind of stuck. And so in an emergency situation, I do kind of feel naked, if you will, that we don't have a regular phone line. But I don't want to pay the phone company. They overcharge you no matter what you do. They'll sneak in charges, and that's the one thing I will give Vonage. But I will, it's peace of I will mind, hand please. them over. You know what? I would pay Vonage. I mean, I almost hate saying this. I'd pay them twice as much because of the fact that they don't overcharge me. Yeah. And the phone company. I'm telling the you, every single Vonage phone company on the planet is out to screw you. The wireless phone, are... wireless phone companies. Every one of them is out to screw you. I hate, Every oh, one by the way, I hated AT and T when we went to Singular. We went to Verizon, then we went to Singular. Now Singular's freaking AT and T. Right? Are I they overcharging it. us? I have. Are you watching? Looked at it. I haven't looked at you it. You gotta watch that stuff. You have to watch that stuff. People, did you realize that AT and T? They sent me all this paperwork where there was a class action suit, and because I was with them during this time, blah 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 blah. And I just remember having so many fights with them that I would go round and round with people, and I had six hundred dollar phone bills. I'm not lying. It was ridiculous. And at least Singular hasn't been that bad. I will give them that. Like, if, if there's a, a definite change that needs to be made, when I go in, they'll notice it and tell yeah, me. Yeah. Whereas AT&T, they don't. And now they're, they they're pretty much one of the same. They, they've been the same one of the same. And they want to be well, called they have been. Well, they have been. They, they have been one of the same. They just use the Singular brand for a while. Ponzi and Chris Perillo, you need to have just a the basic, basic service. Cheapest. And it's really you know, true, but Lynn, when we had our huge Yeah, but we tried that. Here, I was they, afraid. They even well, screwed. We, we the the phone company is out to screw you. Hon, 
She's right. I'm just telling you, they're going to screw you. You're going to get something. It's going to be like ten dollars, fifteen dollars, and and the next thing you turn around, you're going to open the phone line. It's going to say thirty dollars because oh, taxes and charges and all this bull crap. Prepaid cell phones. Well, the thing is, she's talking. She doesn't want a cell phone because you got to charge it. Basic phone service, but wife calls China calls, all the time. Oh, China all the time. Skype, Skype out. out. See, that's smart. See that again. Skype out is a, is a VoIP technology. Get, you got to have an internet connection. You can't right now. You need some kind of connection. That's the only reason why the wireless carriers and the phone companies still exist. You need some kind of infrastructure in order to get out. If if someone could push us off the grid, this is what I'm really hoping for. Google that Google will do. If Google either a acquires a telecommunications company or starts their own, game over. Because you know what Google did to the whole industry? Every single industry it touches destroys them, which is great. I've never had a time at home where my cell phone hasn't worked, Lynn. No, but in an emergency situation, like if, like around here, a lot of um, the telephone poles got knocked down as far as cell cell towers got knocked down. So you never know in an emergency, and well, it's a different in and out way and there, that's why there, but there same, it's the same thing like when the electricity went out how lucky were we that we had gas right okay it's the same kind of premise like if the electricity goes out you need a backup we need a gas we had gas we were right. lucky that we had it same thing the electricity goes out internet goes out well, we need okay, a way but, to you know, communicate fundamentally though having a VoIP phone is a way to save money it does come with caveats though but the greatest thing to me is that I don't have to deal with the phone company that's the reason why I, I love VoIP I love this technology I love what it's doing just scream. <laughs> sure. No problem. 